Did you come into it knowing precisely what you wanted to do? Because you came from Emmerdale. So yes. Did you, did you know what you wanted to do? Um, I knew uh, I knew the storylines that I'd be picking up from, so I knew that Paula Lane, who's obviously fabulous, was leaving as Kylie. So I knew that there would be that story to pick up. And that's the exciting thing about taking over on a soap, because it's, it keeps going, it's a machine and it runs and runs and runs, so you come into it at a point when the Mommy. machine's already moving, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know what kind of tone of stories you want to tell, you know what sort of drama you enjoy watching and you want to, to bring that to the show. But, yeah, there were stories already running that I was excited to, to pick up. Of course, you say it's exciting, but also daunting, I'm guessing, OK, <laughs> because I know my mum and dad, who have watched mm -hmm. the show for many, many years, they kind of know what they want, our viewers, don't they? And as much as they like change, they sometimes don't like change, and so it's a very difficult job to sometimes move something forward yeah it can be a fine line to tread I think but I don't do it alone you know I've got an amazing I'm part of a company and that's when Corrie works at its best when you look at it as a company so I've got a great team of storyliners a great team of script editors an amazing team of writers a whole great production and a cast who carry it in their hearts and as long as you all work together then hopefully you can't go too far wrong mm. and, um, and for you Helen um, you have over the years had some incredible storylines but but the, the Kylie storyline was one that I, that I think I read that you took home with you uh I, I, you know, you, you stop at the gate and you know, you go home and you're at home. But to actually watch that story unfold, I watched Jack and Paula do that last final scene and I, I, I just, it was so moving. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, we watched actually, I sat on, on the curb on the street for two days watching it, just really? watching them work. Really? Because they were so brilliant. Mm. Yeah, and moving and. I think maybe they took it home that uh, that week. Look at their little yeah. faces. Jack's been superb. He well, just, he? you think he can't do any more. I mean, he, <laughs> yeah. but he does, believe me, he does, he does more. He goes on and on. And Paula was Jack, heavily pregnant at that Paula time as well. Pregnant. So yes, I emoting. worried about that. Yeah, you know? I did. Uh, uh, emoting. I wondered what like the baby that. was feeling. Yeah. But anyway, the baby is born and beautiful. And, the baby <laughs> and all is well and, and happy. <laughs> But it continues. It continues yes. tonight. Um, so this this extraordinary story is he is he locked in the cellar of the bistro uh, tonight? Is that, is that what he it is? is? Yes. It's well, actually Gail's idea. It's Gail's idea, and this is this is what I love best about the story because, as you said, Gail's had quite a journey herself in life. But we actually conceived the story from Gail's perspective. You so don't. she wants to protect him and everybody else. So it's all about what a mother does and how far she'll be driven to to sort of contain this problem. So uh, yeah, the bistro cellar is. Uh, <laughs> is the obvious option. What, what was extraordinary? I can I can understand me thinking that I'll lock my son up. That's yeah, mm -hmm. that's easy. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know that uh, that the son and the daughter mm -hmm. that Sarah and and Nick allowed it yes. mm -hmm. is another. But they did. Yeah. And maybe they just do this, as I say. Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> 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 pretty strict <laughs> and that, but but also you were saying just a moment ago um when we came over to have a quick chat um you can you get wrapped up in that storyline which is big mm. and still has lots of legs lots of places to go but there are so many others going on, on at the yes. same time uh, stories that i haven't seen yet so many things tied up in one week mm. i mean it's extraordinary what's uh, yeah what's exciting about uh, this week for us is that it's there's a lot of focus on the plats but there's also a big focus on the barlow so we've got two great clans working alongside each other and there is the uh, re-arrival of peter barlow which is very exciting so chris gascoigne who we all love and, and miss when he's not here has returned to the streets so we're going to be celebrating him uh, this week as well as everything with the plans. As the boss, have you ever anywhere walked in, oh. met I, I worry about that face. Met on. someone and gone, yes, hello, it's nice to meet you. Then I'd, right, I don't like them. <laughs> Cliff. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever Kate. done that? Have you no, ever done because that? that would make me an awful human, drunk on power, and uh, <laughs> I have never done that. It's always, it's always story-led. You know, there are certain characters where you think, OK, th this character might have, have come to the end of their life on the show, but sometimes they're actually the characters that you love the most. You just... The story has taken them there and you know it's going to be a really rich and fabulous viewing experience. So it, it, that's what leads it. Mm. Um, I've, never, I've never been in the position where I've had a personality clash that's made me want to, <laughs> to do that, so that, that might be one for the future. <laughs> I hope not. I hope, I hope <laughs> it's all, yes.
For more of the same, just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. I had a fantastic time back at the TV studios. It was hilarious. There's people there from there 18 years ago, yeah. guys in makeup exactly the same, people like the boom guys and stuff. So it was just like uh, catching well, up on 20 years of wrongdoing. A lady in makeup did say to you, Oh, you're here 18 years ago. What have you been up to? <laughs> this and that. <laughs> <laughs> this and that. You know, I've been very busy, you know. I mean, I'm, I moved down to London with the bright lights, big city, mm. and I just lived life to the max. 